Hi everyone, this is Amin, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about Grafana and FluxDB and how we can get them on a Docker Compose file. So basically, in FluxDB is kind of time series database, and what a time series database is is a sort of, as you can see in the Google, uh, it's a sort of database when your data uh, it has a pair or pairs of time and value. So in this thing, like we're gonna monitor data from our missed AP. So uh, we need to know like uh, the number of clients which are connected right now or in the past, or like the amount of uh, uplink and downlink. For that reason, we should install uh, InfluxDB. If I come back, if you just Google InfluxDB, so you're gonna have this, and here in the InfluxDB, when you open the website, uh, this thing, as you can see, jumps up, and based on your operating system, so you can choose whatever you want, and since I'm using Mac OS, by default, it comes on Mac, then uh, you see you can uh, just use your command line and do the homebrew or use this thing to get the DMG like directly. For Grafana, it would be, it would be the same. Just let me come back. Again, you just install, uh, you just search. So Grafana install on Google, the first web page, you open it and here on the left hand side, options you can see install on Debian, want to, uh, you want to run a Docker image, you want to have it on the Kubernetes or whatever. So I choose Mac and again, I have the command to get it like a brew and whatever. So it is the start. In this way, we can get them both on our system. However, the plan is to get them on the on a Docker Compose file. Let's review the diagram again. So it is my computer. I have everything on my computer and the missed AI is something on the cloud. I need Python. So with Python, I will communicate to the missed AI. With missed AI, if you scroll to uh, the website, you, you can see the site ID, organization ID, and your token to you create your token. So with your token, you uh, the Python script it will authorize itself to talk to MIST, get the data, and send the data to a database which is InfluxDB. And to communicate to InfluxDB, the condition is the same. So you do what do you need? You need um, a token and the bucket that you will create in advance. So with token and user and password, they, they communicate with each other. I'm gonna show it to you, but all in all, the thing is you need to put everything in a Docker container. How you do it with a Docker Compose, uh, just a file. With a Docker Compose file and the same commands as Docker, you're gonna have it. And uh, here in the end, you'll see we have InfluxDB, Python, uh, Grafana, HAProxy, and Proteinia. So HAProxy to makes it HTTPS, sorry for my stammer, and Proteinia, which is a dashboard to see how your Docker containers are working or how they communicate into each other or if there's any problem. So anyway, this is the, uh, the concept of what we are going to do. For that reason, uh, so what I do need, I need to open up my VS code and start coding. So do the Python. And as I told you, you need your MIST token, you need your organization ID and site ID. And also at the same time, what you do need, you need uh, to have InfluxDB token and organization. So these are what you create. When you have your Python script, first try it on your computer. If it is working, I mean, you're sure, like, you do, you do not want to end up in a weird and difficult with tons of possibilities troubleshooting. So step by step, first come up with your Python script, work on that. If it works and everything is like perfectly fine, then save it somewhere. You need webhook as well uh, to communicate with Miss AI. I was about to forget it. Then you create your Docker file. So what do we need for Python? As you can remember, 
uh, when we wanted to create that hello how are you Peter or John we had a docker file to create the Python because I mean things like InfluxDB or Grafana they are ready but uh, this uh, monitoring that that, uh, that py it's what we created so we do need a docker file like that let's scroll and see what do we have here so if you can remember from so you're gonna have your base image and your base image is python we're gonna stick to the latest you can try it with your alpine if you can remember i said that so we add the file here monitoring that py and dot so here this is my working directory but something is important uh for that for, as i'm a mac user i do need python 3 so i knew i do need a virtual environment so run python 3 to create my virtual environment so run for a command then i'll create that and i put that as my environment like that with this command then so i do need to update my pip to install the libraries like webhook webhook client and influxdb then get the path like my uh, virtual environment and the command this is what i'm supposed to do for the docker file and for the docker compose it's it will be like that so what do we have we have uh we have a version then a service so first thing we it starts the version then services what do we need here so we need a python and we say build so because it's it will be our own image it's not something already image so build here and the container name so we are gonna you're gonna come up with a name for that if you can remember those like random names when we used to create like a docker pool Ubuntu or Docker Run Ubuntu here we're gonna come up with a name to know to have a fixed one then restart always it means uh, like always working even if there is a problem I'm like resetting or rebooting the VM they will uh, restart as well so restart always and network monitoring so I'm creating my own network and since I mean if I don't mention the network name, Docker Compose will create its own network, something separated. But in this way, I'm going to name it in advance. So whether I say it or not, Docker Compose creates its own network. But in this way, I'm going to name it. So networks and monitoring. And uh, I, sh I should mention that actually it's not the part of the deal that Docker Compose does. It's a, p it's a command, like a one line command. I'm going to show it to you. Then Grafana. So for Grafana, what we can do, this is the image container name, the same Grafana we saw it always. It has a port, so it works on port 3000, network monitoring, and we need a volume because it's gonna get some data and show it. And for sure, it's not gonna be something online to show it at the time. Like maybe you would like to scroll in the back. So you need a volume to store some data. InfluxDB the same, you, you have your image, so you're going to get the latest one, you're going to name it, which port, 8086, the network, this. so all of them are in the same network because they're going to communicate with each other, uh, networks and the volume the same, so environment, something more that you should know that in configuring the InfluxDB, you should add this line, so environment are like the essential things. You're gonna set it up, you need a username, you're gonna call it admin, the password, something, or the your organization name. These are part of the thing that you should, if you can remember, we had them here. So we have organization name, flex organization, I said whatever, or something. Then a bucket, bucket is like the, the place that you're gonna store your data. So bucket in, InfluxDB, it means uh, your storage bucket and like the retention, finally the token, and I said whatever, so you're gonna come up with a token. My advice is use a UUID to create the random numbers and it's very easy if you just Google 
how to create random numbers with Python is just one or two lines. Not, I mean, that much easy. You can create random numbers with Python and uh, use the version 4 of UID. In the meanwhile, I created those files here. So if I just do a list, we'll see we have the darker file, darker compose, and the darker compose should be a YAML file, either YAML or YML, uh, both uh, are okay. So if I cat my darker file, it is exactly what I showed you, or cat the darker compose YAML, they are the same. So from now, what should we do? We should just create the network. Those, uh, look, the network, we said we we're gonna create it. And uh, for the volume, it depends on the way that you design. You can have the internal, external. So I've chosen the external, and now I'm supposed to create it. Before doing anything, we should remember that we just installed this uh, instance. So there is nothing literally on that. Yeah. I created my files. I mean, if I do the LS, as I said, you, you see them, but the thing is that what do we want? We need Docker. So let's install it. Apt get update ampersand ampersand apt get uh, install and Docker IO. Takes a little while. Docker is installed. I can do clear, come here and start to do the commands. So Docker, the first thing, Docker network in, in the network, uh, Docker network part, I showed you how you can deal with the network things in Docker. So Docker network create, and it was supposed to be monitoring. So Docker network create monitoring. It creates the network for us. If I do Docker Network LS, it shows the monitoring. I just create it. And then Docker, so volume, Docker volume, and Docker volume create. Then <clears throat> we called it Grafana. Let's uh, have it in the correct name. Grafana. It should be exactly the same as the thing that we put in the Docker Compose file. So uh, yeah, Grafana volume, it created, and the same for uh, influx db, I N. okay. Let's install Docker Compose. Again, app get update apt get install docker compose dash i o and dash y. Okay, with apt install docker io, docker uh, dot io and apt install docker dash compose, we installed these two things on our machine, then clears, run docker compose, we should do what? We should type docker compose and the rest of that, the command. But before doing that, I, I want to show you something. So. Since we use the uh, standard names, Docker Compose YAML, YML is possible as well, and uh, Docker file. So the Docker automatically, it searches for the, like the standard names. If the name is different, you should mention it. How? You can say Docker Compose. Okay, and then you should come up with dash F for file and something yml and then up however here we use the standard name so we are good we just say docker compose up then don't forget to add the detach mode and then hit on the enter 
So it says there is a problem. So the YAML parser while parsing block mapping. So probably we should do our Docker compose file. Let's see what the problem is. Basically, look at here something which is very important that I guess the problem is they are not in the same line. So if I put this influx DB, if I guess just two lines forward and again run the command, it said build must build must be a mapping, not a string. So again, let me vim my Docker compose. Oh yes, during the copying and pasting, I made another mistake. So again, I mean the good part when you use uh, your Visual Code Studio is that you see like they are if they are in line or they should. I mean each one should be forwarded just for one. So So it is done, they are installed and it's kind of good news. What should I do right now? We need a browser. Let me bring up a browser like that here and make it a little wider. What do we need here? We just come up with the IP address and the port. So the IP address for my machine, if I come to my instance and copy that, if I copy and then add the port 3000, it brings up Grafana for me, which is good news. So we have the Grafana, by default it is admin and admin. And then when you log in, it says, okay, change your password. So I'm gonna come up with something that I can't remember probably. This is the first page of Grafana when you open it. I mean, when it is new, it, it will be like this. And for InfluxDB, so same IP address and 8086. But he, for this one, we added the username and password. So I'm gonna just do the admin and come up with the password. So, super cool. And the other thing is that during the configuration, we did even the bucket. So we have the bucket. And since the Python script is working, so we have our data here ready. And in the next step, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how you can create your dashboard. So right now, our Python script is working. Uh, the Grafana is up and also the InfluxDB is here and ready.